Hi everyone. So yesterday I posted a video of Our Town by Iris Dement. Such a beautiful song, such a sad song. It's interesting. I feel like it gets better as you listen to it more. If you didn't like it the first time, you should listen to it again. But I want to talk you through how I did my Iris Dement impression. Because you might have noticed I sang a lot differently than I often do, and that was deliberate. I'm going to be doing a series coming up on how to mimic specific voices. So we'll post a cover, and then I'll talk you through how I did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play little bits and pieces of Our Town and just kind of point out some interesting things about Iris Dement's vocal technique and exactly what goes on to make those sounds happen. And you know the sun's setting fast And just like they say, nothing good ever lasts Go on now and kiss it goodbye, but hold on to your love because your heart's bound to die. So something that stood out to me right away were Iris Dement's vowels. They're not so similar to exactly how um, most Americans would speak, and I found that really interesting. So I went ahead and modified all of my vowels towards hers, which are modified very wide and very bright. The first place that I noticed that was in the word lover. So you can kind of hear, I pronounce it lover, kind of with a U-H vowel in there. Iris Dement pretty distinctly says lover, a nice A-H vowel. And part of what that does is it makes your voice sound way brighter. It gives you a lot of cut, so the sounds that you're making are really clear. And that's part of why she has that almost childlike quality to her voice, and it has a lot of clarity. You can really, you're drawn to hearing her voice when you listen to it. And I'm just going to keep walking us through the song and just talking about some of her technique particulars. Go on now and say goodbye to our town. You can hear her vowels, her hard, town. like really round R's as well. So I was totally talking over her. But what I was saying was that you can really hear her consonants are very um, exaggerated as well. And you actually hear this a lot, I think, with singers, where they really overdo the R sound, that American R sound, and it actually cuts very well on its own. It really doesn't need anything extra, but you really hear her chew on it. In our town, in our town. It's very distinctly clear. And that gives you a big kind of clue that that's her. All of these little distinguishing things, you know, I think some voice teachers refer to these things as technique mistakes. I think that that's not the best way to think about it. I think these little stylistic choices are what help to separate genres and singers. And I think that learning how to mimic them can really help you find your own sound. Let's keep going. Nah. So you can hear totally interesting vowels. He was the tender and uh, ordered a beer. Obviously, slowing it down that much makes it sound silly, but I'm not mimicking. I'm picking it apart, trying to figure out exactly what she's doing. The other thing that she's doing a lot of is what's called a glottal stop. A glottal stop is when we use our glottis, our throat, to start and stop our sound. And you can really, really hear it here. He was the tender and a uh, ordered a beer. And you can hear it even more when you sing it. He was the tender and uh, ordered a beer. Very much started and stopped with the throat. And that's not traditional technique and some people find it a touch fatiguing, but it's so clear and it really makes you listen to the words. And I really enjoy that about it. Keep going. It's been 40 years and I'm still sitting here. But you know the sun setting fast. And just like they say, nothing good ever lasts. We'll go on now and kiss it goodbye. But hold on to your lover because your heart's bound to die. 
we can hear just those really distinct vowel choices yet again. And these are the things that I really tried to follow. I tried to pay attention to every single vowel that she made and mimic it as best I could. And so when you're finding that really bright, wide sound, you don't necessarily want to open all the way into a smile. Hold on to your lover cause your heart's gonna die. Too wide, not quite that right sound quality. So it's still really tall. It's still really yawny in the back. It just has kind of that forward childlike quality. I always talk in my lessons that I teach about the idea that we wanna have the angle in our soft palate almost like we're about to start snoring. And that kind of lifts everything and tilts it forward, gets us right into that really forward space, which is what will bring your sound into that bright place. And then we can still keep our lips rounded, but have a lot of clarity. Of course, the distinctness of her vowels kind of comes into play here, but this can work with any song, with any vowels you're working on, and that's gonna give you some clarity, some cut, like she totally has, without making you yell, which is super, super useful in terms of avoiding fatigue. Well, listen a little more. There's not too, too much going on here. Another thing though that I like to point out that I paid a lot of attention to is her use of breath. Listen for H's in her words. You'll hear them in some unexpected places. Go on now and say goodbye to our town, to our town. Can't you see the sun setting down on our town? So you can totally hear it there. Of course, the words that she's saying do have H's in them, but she really is on those H's rather than it's here I had my babies, which is so smooth. It's here I had my babies and I had my first kiss. Obviously, I don't think I did a great job there, but those H's are very present, very intense. And I think that that's part of what gives her that stylistic, distinct feel that she has. And I tried to um, mimic that as best I could in my recording as well. So big focuses for Iris DeMent, wide, large vowels, forwardness of the vowels, and placement and use of the breath. So if you're interested in this vocal technique or if you just like my covers, please like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with some extra videos over the next few weeks, mimicking as many different styles as I can. Uh, my name's Becca. I'm a singer. I teach voice lessons. Subscribe for a little more information and I'll see y'all soon. Bye-bye.